Hello, good afternoon, welcome to Communities Live here on Sheffield Live 93.2 FM and we have presenter Angelica Bell, good afternoon. Hey Chris, how are you? It's good to be I'm, on here with you. I'm very well, thank you. It's uh, very cold here today, so how is it on your end? Oh, it's miserable as well. It's amazing how the weather does affect you. I used to think like it didn't, it had it had no effect at all, but it's like, oh, get the woolly jumpers out and everything and wrap up warm. But you know what? We can't we can't really win, can we? Because we warm when it's too warm and then we warm when it's too cold. So we can't really win, can we? <laughs> no. So you might as well just, just go with it and uh, stop moaning. Exactly. <laughs> So, and, you know, we've got an interesting debate here. I mean, we're going to talk a bit about uh, pineapple. I mean, to, I mean, to work on savoury dishes. And yeah. I've got to say, it's very interesting because 62% of the UK now say yes to pineapple on savoury dishes. And it's not just on pizza. Now, I've always noticed that, I mean, like sweet and sour dishes and Hawaiian pizza, but I've never known pineapple with any other uh, main courses. No, I know. You're right. You're right, Chris. There has been some research, the latest research from Dole, which does say 62% of the UK now say yes to pineapple on a wider variety of foods. And you're right. It's a long-standing debate about whether you should have pineapple on your Hawaiian pizza. And, of course, you know, we eat pineapple more often than we think. Um, and it is polarising, but I think... You know, being more open to foods and, you know, one of your five a day um, should be considered. I mean, I'm a massive foodie. Um, I love food. Um, and I used to cook with pineapple a lot more with my grandma was alive. She was from the Caribbean. And growing up, we used to use it all the time, whether it was baking cakes or in food. She used to make uh, pineapple fritters. And uh, we also know that pineapple was very popular in the Victorian age at breakfast time as well as well so I just think things come round and foods come round and tastes differ and that mix of sweet and sour as well people are much more open to yeah exactly I mean it's it's like I mean you could say it like this I mean like it's I know it's a completely different uh, uh, food altogether but like rhubarb is a vegetable but it goes well with custard it's 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 so weird isn't it yeah, and it's like cranberries. You know, when we have cranberry with our turkey at Christmas dinner, no one says, why are you having cranberries with that? Because it adds flavour and it adds to the taste um, and sometimes can moisten the turkey if it's too dry as well. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, I'm just reading about this uh, sentiment by uh, David Beckham that he likes having pineapple with baked beans. I mean, I could never imagine having baked beans and pineapple together. <laughs> Well, if it works for David Beckham, um, I'm sure it can work for everyone else. I mean, I think half of Britons in this report say that they would be open to having pineapple um, on a cooked breakfast. Or Obviously, the other half say it's weird and baffling. But there are other celebrities who do love a bit of pineapple, like Justin Bieber. He's up for it. Um, the Rock, um, Paris Hilton, they say it's perfect and it's great. People who are against it, though... Celebrities, Harry Styles, Gordon Ramsay, you can imagine him being like, no, 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 even Ranveer Singh as well. Um, but why not have pineapple with your fry up as David Beckham would have? Why not? I think it depends on uh, what, if you're more adventurous as well, you know, I mean, for if you're, if you're an, an, an adventurous food eater, then uh, why not go for it? Exactly like you said. Yeah, no, exactly. And in this um, research, they do talk about having pineapple in fry ups and what you would swap out to add some wow, or add some sunshine to your breakfast. And 30% of the UK went with black pudding. They would swap out black pudding because that's something not light. So people would prefer to have pineapple than the black pudding. And then 16% said tomatoes, which did surprise me because I thought maybe mushrooms would be next. Um, so I do think we are adventurous uh, maybe in different parts of the country more adventurous than others i know in london people are much more um from the research that doll did much more willing to take a take a risk if you can call it a risk yeah i get what you mean i mean but also i mean they talk about full english i mean to have pineapple with uh, full english i mean some people would say either swap the black pudding or swap the tomatoes 
Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I just said that also as well. I think um, one thing that is, you know, works with a plate, you know, maybe not breakfasty, but brunchy is like gammon, pineapple, a fried egg. Um, and you could have baked beans with that or chips, whatever you want. You know, that's something, I, you know, even thinking about it sounds delicious and looks great. And I'll have to ask you, Angelica, I mean, if you wouldn't like to try something with uh, pineapple, I mean, what would you uh, try it with for your main course? Well, like I said, I think we have pineapple in more meals than we think. Look, often when I get like a chicken burger or a chicken and pita, I'll always ask for cheese and pita. I just right. do it all the time. I, 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 cheese, I mean, cheese and pineapple because um, I just like the combination. Stir fries, I'll put pineapple in there. Um, if I have a Chinese takeaway, I love it when they're sweet and sour and there's pineapple in there. Um, pineapple and salmon. I've had that before. That goes really well. Uh, tacos. There's loads of food and obviously um, a cake. I went to Devon recently and they had on the menu, on the fish and chip menu um, in one of the local shops, they had deep fried pineapple. So I think it's more common than we think. Right, interesting. I mean, I've got to be. I'm gonna to have to try some of these things because I, I've never been. I have to be more adventurous now. Now that I've heard all those um, um, main meals to go with it, that goes well with pineapple. I mean, because I've always tried, I've had a Hawaiian pizza, and yeah. that goes well with the uh, pineapple. I've had sweet and sour, sweet and sour with pineapple chunks, and that that was uh, gorgeous. But I've never tried. Um, fried pineapple and we and, and I have to try a uh, pineapple cake as well so I'm going to have to try be a bit more adventurous I think well there's recipes um that we've got which are really easy some are sweet some are savory if you go to dollsunshine.com um and they're all on there and you don't have to be a master chef a contestant um to cook them because that's what you know it's about making things easy and accessible um and tasty so we're cooking from home um so have a look on there. Another thing, you know, you say you were open to try things out. What about some pineapple? Like you could crush some pineapple on top of some porridge. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's got to be there's, uh, there's there's a whole way, range of things that you could try, and uh, we actually coming in quite uh, close to the time now. So unfortunately, we're going to have to end it here. But uh, I would like to give the last word to you, Angelica. So I mean, to our audience, what would you like to say to our listeners? Who, is, wants, who wants to try a little bit of pineapple. Well, I think it's one of those fruits that sometimes we wouldn't nat naturally gravitate to, but you can get them in tins, which is easy. So all that preparation is taken away from you. You don't have to do any cutting and chopping and stuff like that. But it was once a staple of, like I said, English breakfast during Victorian times, but we want to bring that wow factor back and it's time to shake things up again. And, and it can pair with so many foods. Um, and just add some sunshine to meals and recipes that you can create yourself at home. Angelica, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Oh, thanks, Chris. And make sure you let me know what it's like when you try some pineapple. I would love to. I will do. <laughs> with your fish and chips. I might chip. try pineapple with porridge now. Oh, do it. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye.